Logging into your computer just got a major update and it doesn't involve remembering another 12 digit password that has letters, symbols, numbers, and maybe even a drop of blood, right? Today, we're gonna be talking about pass keys, which is the new thing, what they are, how they work, and why they might just finally kill those passwords that we hate remembering. So what are pass keys and are they actually better than passwords, right? If they're gonna replace passwords, we want them to be easier to use and obviously just as secure, if not more secure. So what are they? Well, pass keys are essentially a passwordless, passwordless, so no password, login method that uses encrypted keys stored securely on your device, okay? So instead of typing in a password like we traditionally would, you just confirm your identity with maybe your face ID, a fingerprint, or even your device's pin code, like for your computer. And boom, you're in. Your device holds that private key within it, okay? Somewhere where you won't see it. It never leaves, and websites use this public key, their public key, to confirm it's really you. So there's two parts, right? Your private key and the online public key. They have to communicate and see that it's really you. It's fast, it's secure, and it's basically hacker proof, not hacker proof, nothing's hacker proof, but it's close. It's much better than the old password system. Okay. Can't say it's hacker proof. Nothing truly is hacker proof, but as of right now, it's a much better method. It's a lot safer and it might just save your accounts. Okay. So again, how are they better than traditional passwords? Well, traditional passwords, you have to remember, you have to write them down. You have to reset them all the time. Cause you can't remember what it was. Not only that, but People get lazy. I know personally that a lot of people get lazy and use the same password for the same accounts, every account that they have, maybe five, seven, 10, 20 accounts, all with the same password. That's not very safe. It's a total mess, okay? Pass keys skips all of that. They don't just make logging in faster. They also make it harder for your password to be fished or your credentials to be stolen, data breaches to happen. It makes it almost impossible, not totally impossible, but a lot harder. Again, nothing's hack proof, but this is one of the best methods out there. And because of that, it's probably not going anywhere. Okay. It's like going from one of those old key rings, the old rusty uh, ring full of keys to a smart lock that recognizes only you. It's pretty great. Okay. And it can help keep you and your accounts safe. And again, what makes the pass key so much safer? What makes it better than passwords? Well, it's tied to you and only you, whether it be your fingerprint, your face, your pin number, not some text string that anybody could find data breach again if somebody sees you typing it in if you just get one just takes one password and then it could be a whole bunch of accounts because like i said a lot of people reuse them even compared to two-factor authentication or mfa pass keys are actually stronger because they combine identification and authentication into one simple method no more text codes showing up five minutes later or don't show up at all, which is an issue I see a lot here in my computer works. You want to go reset your password, try to get that code to your phone and it never shows up. Pass keys are a great way to get around that. And let's be honest, we've all been through the wild ride of trying to secure logins or get back into accounts. Okay. Maybe we have old security questions like what's your favorite childhood pet? And you just don't remember. Or maybe the two factor authentication codes, the recovery codes are being sent to your old phone that you no longer have. And don't forget about email recovery links. What if the hackers or the scammers took your email too? Now they're getting the codes instead of you. There's a lot of issues with the old methods that we used for account recovery and securing our accounts. Pass keys might be the answer that we're all looking for. All right, well, who's already on board? Who's using this? That's the next question, right? What accounts can we actually set this up on? Well, Apple, Google, and Microsoft are already on board. And those companies are some of the key three, right? Almost all of us probably have one of those accounts. And support for this is growing fast. On iPhone, pass keys are saved in your iCloud keychain. On Android, you're gonna sync those through your Google Password Manager. And on Windows, you can use Windows Hello to use your fingerprint, face, or PIN number to set up a passkey. If your device is synced, your passkeys follow you safely across all your devices. All right, now let's talk about some common issues you could experience with passkeys because nothing's perfect, right? Well, one of the biggest issues is right now, not everybody is using passkeys. So for the moment, they're not the ruler or the king across the board. It is still currently going to be you using pass keys mixed with passwords and other recovery methods. So it's still going to be a bit of a mess until pass keys are used for all accounts across all devices, right? 
Also, you could run into synchronization issues. This is typically caused by your browser or your OS being out of date. Update your OS, update your browsers, and try syncing again. Make sure you have that device syncing turned on and that you don't lose the device that you set this up on. That could be really bad. If you set this up on a device and then lose the device, well, then you could find yourself in a world of trouble. If none of this is working, if you're having issues with pass keys or you already had pass keys set up and are running into trouble now, or you want to set pass keys up trouble free, reach out to us here at My Computer Works and we can help you out with that. Thank you everyone for watching and please hit that like and subscribe down below before you go so I can see you on the next one.